Don and I really, we play a game of chess all the time. He'll put himself in a strong position. He, he actually, how much do you weigh more than I do? 208. Yeah, you weigh 208? He's lying, weighs 215. <laughs> and I'm weighing 145. Okay, but he's, he's strong. He's got real strong muscles. So notice his elbows are in, and he, he, yeah, he really likes to stand up and try to prove that grappling's better than judo. So, so we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll do little, little games, you know, I'll do something and then he'll do something, we'll do it that way, I'll do something, stop, and then he'll counteract it. And that way we're training our brains to think. But him being strong, I really want to not come in here with this, it's not strong enough. I'm going to come in here like this, and I'm going to put my elbow right in his chest. So I, I pulled this out of my way by using my hip to move my elbow. But I'm going to put my elbow right into his chest as I move my foot back around. So now I'm going to do the movement where you can see everything. So he's over here, he's got this thing strong. I'm just going to bring my elbow, but I'm going to move my body when I do it, so it goes boom into his chest. Now it's easy for me to just switch and get my grip. So this really works good because you're using your whole body. Now, if I go like this, and then he starts coming forward, I push it down, pop my legs back, now I can rock, boom. Okay, shoulder throw, shoulder throw, shoulder throw. I don't like shoulder throw, but I will tell you something about for those who like the shoulder throw. Okay, I'm not going to just take this arm and pull it out here like this. Because that's not really breaking him down too much. But if I take the elbow and use push it with my hip, then I'm sort of pushing the elbow in line with the shoulder. You can see it, you know, from his shoulder down to his back. If I do that and twist my hip, then I can bring that shoulder right in front of me. And if I do it a little bit like this, I can get his whole body to start getting off balance. So I'm more like a steering wheel with my elbow down. And when I do that, I'm going to push with this shoulder, I'm pulling with this shoulder, and then I just get a little action like this just to break it across. So I'm over here like this, and I'm rape it across. Now, I don't want you to think that I'm throwing with my back. I want you to think that I'm throwing with my front. I'm going to push him up and push me down. Like that. So, Leg techniques, and I don't like talking about foot sweeps and that kind of stuff. I tend to use that, I'm going to do from a little bit more of a distance, but I am going to have my elbows up here like this. Uh, I want to be in a position that I'm controlling him. In fact, as you'll notice, that if I, if I pull up, push up with my hip, it brings his hip to me. See, like that. So you got this, like this, and see how it brings his hip right to me. So when I do leg techniques, I want to bring his hip to me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get his body like where I can control it. 
So I'm bringing him in, not pushing him away. Okay, but then when my feet come across, I transition to a, you know, I, I do one of these type of things, and then when my feet comes across, I'm able to push. So I'm in here like this, now I'm controlling his body, I can make that foot light, because I can push his body to make it light. And then, 